sits at the top of the MPC's agenda, its strength is a big talking point. The rand has appreciated more than 3% against the dollar since the last MPC, and analysts say it could go further. A few very important systemic drivers of the strong rand at the moment. I, mean, I think firstly and very obviously was that the rand was oversold and became too weak during the crisis period in late 2008. So in many respects we've seen a correction to a more reasonable level. So that's been driving rand strength. According to economists, it's a two-edged sword. Exporters want the rand to weaken because it makes them less competitive. Importers, on the other hand, are enjoying the benefits of a rand that buys them more around the world. Just ask Paul Johnson, manager of prophecy.co.za an importer of electronic gadgets. He has been in the business for five years. The RAND has made this year one of the best. In general, having a strong RAND is good for our business. Um, it makes the comparative costs of computer equipment and technology, which is largely imported, uh, much cheaper. So people can afford to buy faster computers, they can afford to buy a better laptop, they can afford to buy a nicer cell phone when the RAND is strong. Strong RAND? Yes. Stable RAND? Yes, please. Overall, we'd prefer stability to just raw strength. Uh, you know, what we really want is a stable currency um, because it can be very tough when you're importing stock that you're going to be carrying for weeks or months. Um, if there's a 10 or 15 percent decrease in the in the currency exchange. On balance, a stable to slightly stronger currency is probably very positive for this economy and in actual fact we've seen that. We've seen over the past few months good economic growth, good manufacturing growth in a strengthening RAND environment. As the South African economy shows signs of a recovery, economists see no change. But Animal Bishop of Investec is one of the few that sees the governor and her colleagues on the Monetary Policy Committee taking a bold step. I'm seriously thinking of changing my forecast to a 50 basis point cut instead at the next MPC meeting. It does seem to be more likely, particularly if the strength persists. And by that I mean that the RAND continues to see gains from this point onwards. But is it all down to the RAND? Definitely not. I mean, I think that the Reserve Bank would never just look at the RAND. They definitely consider the exchange rate, they definitely take it into consideration. And I just think that even though we're on a downward inflation trajectory, inflation hasn't shown enough downside pull just yet for the Reserve Bank to consider cutting rates at this meeting. Aside from the RAND strength, there was better than expected consumer inflation figures, a sign of an improving economy. Well, we think that the Reserve Bank will adopt a fairly similar policy stance to what we've seen in the previous two meetings. They're going to talk about mixed risks. They certainly will probably be more upbeat about economic growth. The RAND debate is likely to rage on for a while as foreign capital inflows buoy the currency, adding to its 28% advance last year. But today, I would have loved to be a fly on the wall of the meeting room of Governor Marcus and her MPC.